What do you see, Sunim? spot. You're just in time for new stock. Can you remind me what you do here? I buy and sell all manner of items. We have talked so little since our first days, Yanli, and I know nothing about you. How did you come to live in England? I wish I had a more intriguing story for you. I came from Sun Sao, far from here, for no real reason. Curiosity, I suppose. It is not an exotic story. A young woman, excited by the prospect of travel, granted passage on a trading boat. Do you miss your home? Yes, often. I intend to return one day, or perhaps coax some friends and family to join me here. But I am in no hurry. Well, you're most welcome here. Oh! I should soon have a few spices from the East to add to our feasts. As much as I love your hospitality, your food is... Mm. Well, you are doing your best. I would like to see what you have in stock. Anything you find, bring it to me. Perfection. And I mean that. I'm almost jealous at what a good purchase you've made. Shopping for the What have you got for me today? 
made from only the finest materials. Is that everything? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Always a pleasure, Eivor. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles. And you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the Longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot.
Humans here are healthy and populous. Admit to a fault. Moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come, this way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look, the wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails, they must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth? Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods. We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that. The pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. I think we found our wolves. You there! Get to cover! Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side.
There. That should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear anything. Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why you misunderstand. Eivor, good to see you. How are you, Toby? Holding up? Much better now, I think. I miss Sven every day. And yet he is here with me. His hooker infused in every design. Believing that, it helps. Glad to hear it. And happy to offer myself as your first canvas. Good. Let's get started. May I see your stores? Nothing more? I will see you later, friend. 
A good day to you. I have to go. See you soon. Until I see you next. Happy to say I've refreshed my stocks. What have you got for me today? All done. I have something that may interest you. I could really use this. Bringing me this would be helpful. Done for now. I must take my leave. So long. Until next time. We are allied with Shropshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chelbet will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found a paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. Go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Favor. Dag, Basim has brought word of Seeker's location. We're leaving at once to find him. Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag. This is no joke. On the ship. Now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. Sigurd's life is at stake. We need you there. No. I am needed here. 
Do you doubt me so completely that you will not raise an axe to save your yarl? A fine way of putting it, Wolf Kissed. But go, find the Jarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. This is not done, Dag. We will speak when I return. You seem sad, Gunnar. I am. Sven was a good friend to me over the years. I know. I'm sorry I was not here to send him on his way. He was loved. That he was. But suppose we honor him best by keeping the clan going. Anyhow, you probably need something, eh? May I see your stores? You have a keen eye for quality. Nothing else I... I'm off. Be well, friend. I would like to see what you have in stock. Ah, that one's pretty good. Worthy of the gods. My pieces are good, but that one's very good. Very. Now you can take on anything. I can get you that one easy.
you like the looks of that one? Is that what you want? Done for now. I must take my leave. So long. Until next we meet.
what do you see? Basim has news of Sigurd. I should find him soon. Soon him. Guide me. <laughs> this place is heavily guarded. Huh? <laughs> 
Troubled in the spirit. Shh. It is heresy to even think of it. <laughs> Forget her words, her blasphemies. Think only of Christ the Addy's redemptive message. She spoke freely of the sin. Speaks their danger, so he may take from us as he pleases.
Not Augustine make a distinction between faith and the understanding. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest, whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hortbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. So what of the Joy Kanga Fulker? In your message, you said you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone, not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend, Abbot Cunibert, full of pious fire, but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace, and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty, the Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hyvum sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important. And I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Bessem says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? 
Some weeks ago, our alderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him. Before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The King's Emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new Elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the Thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. If we do this, how will you find Fulke? I want some kind of assurance. Do you have ears in every church, abbey, and cathedral in Kent? Because I do. And I will find her. And we will do the deeds to staining for a Christian soul. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstone has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Falkenstein. What troubles you, old man? Please, I beg you. How many are there? I must know. How many what? The stones. Every time I count them, the answer is different. First twenty, then twenty-one. The fair folk made a madman of me. Rock cannot appear and disappear. I shall count them. Run round and round. Pick up your skirts. Still drag your robes through the dirt. You mock old Cuthbert, stone soldiers hopping in and out, in and out like robins on a wood pile. Need to be careful here. Go, my eyes.
Scheiße. Alfred's emissary spent a few days here. Someone may know where he went. I'm busy. Leave me be. Welcome. Until next we meet. It's like you were born to ride. We'll see you later, friend. Hello there. I hope to see you again soon. I must be on my way now. Goodbye.
you! Loitering and lollygagging! I'm looking for someone. An emissary from Alfred. Have you seen such a man? Ooh, la -de da Listen to you, all I and mighty. Get away with you, you valley lily! Tell me what you know, or this will go badly. For you, maybe. I'll be dead and you still won't know a thing! You're a strange fish. Did you see the man or not? I did. He was getting pie-eyed with that barred gowan and causing quite a ruckus. They left together. See? That wasn't hard, was it? Harder than it should have been. In no mood for wind belching, so choose your words well. I heard the king's men came through here, cast a stir. A man of your wit noticed them, I bet. I am witty. Finally, someone sees. I'm always telling the wife, but will she listen? Will she bollocks? Alfred's emissary. Where? Him and the bard ended up in a copse by the bridge doing Lord knows what. Sounded like they were murdering a cat. Singing? If you say so. There was a bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him. See if he knows anything. With his own eyes. Rub them twice to be sure. Someone should do something. What? Ask him to move on. Or perhaps he can live with us here, and the children will ride his matted back. I heard he was captured by Dave, so they ate his heart. Ultimate we got blind. Show me what lies ahead. That eel swamp scarp can't have gone far. Yeah. You there, you're alive. <laughs> Patience is a tired horse. Plodity plod plod. <laughs> Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. Oh, oh, it's cold as a witch's titty! 